You simply can't do SEO without having a solid understanding of status codes. Each page on your site returns a status code to the browser or spider that requests the page. Several codes can influence SEO signals, so you've got to understand what the codes mean and how they'll influence your site in the algorithms. A 200 code means everything's good, the page is working like it's supposed to, and the spider should crawl and index the page. A browser will display the intended page. A 301 code, as we discussed a few lessons ago, tells the spider and browser that the page has moved permanently to a new address. The spider will crawl and index the new page and any link equity the old page had earned will pass to the new page. The browser will redirect visitors and display the new page. We talked about the 302 code already also. It tells the spider and browser that the page has moved temporarily. The spider will keep the original page indexed and link equity will not be passed to the new page. The browser will redirect visitors to the new page. A 404 code means that the intended page doesn't exist. Spiders will eventually drop a page from the index and a browser will display a 404 not found page. A 500 error signifies a server error. Nothing is visible to spiders or browsers. A 503 error is a temporarily unavailable error that tells users and spiders to come back later. When you're starting SEO work on a site or doing a technical audit, you'll need to check the status codes for every page on the site. Several browser toolbar add-ons exist for both Firefox and Chrome, but the easiest way to see the status codes for an entire site is to run a screaming frog crawl. Learn more about how to do a screaming frog crawl in the next section.